Hey fellas, do you like the new intro? Uh, I decided I'm going to do that for each planet. I'm going to make a new intro. Instead of the same old one. So here we are on Anchorhead. And we are going to... Wait. Nah, I don't need to speak to Candrus. It'll just take more time up. Okay, beyond this wall is um, three Siths. So you're going to want to find them. Lord Malak was most displeased when he learned you had escaped Terrace alive. He has promised a great reward to whoever destroys you. Well, that took longer than it should have. But pick up their remains. They have um, some lightsabers and uh, robes and crystals and stuff. Alright. So we're going to walk over here. And just ahead here will be. Wait, let me cure. But um, just ahead here will be a gate. And at the gate there'll be a guard, and he's gonna tell you that you need a hunting license. So let's go talk with him now. See what he has to say. So, Bastila, I heard a rumor that the Vulcars captured you without much of a struggle. It must be embarrassing to be bested by a handful of street thugs. There were extenuating circumstances, and I can assure you, it took far more than a handful of Vulcars to subdue me. Whatever you say. All I know is that if we had more Jedi like Bastila fighting against us in the Mandalorian Wars, my side might not have lost. Bold talk from a broken down mercenary who is serving at Davik's heel. I'd call you his pet cat hound, but they have enough loyalty not to turn on their masters. Insults? Maybe if your master had trained your lightsaber to be as quick as your tongue, you could have escaped those Vulcars, you spoiled little Jedi princess. I was not spoiled. I was given the same training as everyone else in the Order. You are nothing but a... No, I must not do this. There is no emotion. There is peace. That's the problem with you, Jedi. Always chanting about peace and control. Never up for a good fight. Well, except for Revan, I guess. Enough, Mandalorian. I won't rise to your bait anymore. The game is over. Let us continue on with what we were doing. Okay, then. Looks like them two were fighting. So, wait. You know what? I'm going to talk to Isis right now. He's a little Jawa, and he'll offer you money if you help him free his people uh, in the San People Enclave later. So I'll talk to him now so I, can, so I don't forget later. Giants made of sand. No one leaves Anchorhead without proper authorization. Look, it's for your own good. Zerka Corporation will not accept liability if sand people run you down. You know, I agree with you, but Zerka Corporation Show me respect. I'll say that. See what he has to say. Besides, I couldn't let you pass if I wanted to. 
The gate lock needs to be swiped with your authorization. All right. Um. Sorry. Maybe persuade will work. One place nope. No, oh, it doesn't work. work either. Go to the Zerka office for the hunting license. They sell so it looks like we're going to have to go get a hunting license, and to do that, we'll have to go to the See Zerka, the Zerka offices. office for authorization. Did that jaw just wave? I think that Java just waved to me. I'll have to check that out after, after I uh, start editing. All right, so let's walk over to the Zerka offices. Um, I actually think I'm gonna stop once I get the hunting license. How can I help? Yeah, I think I will. How did you know? So. I Okay, I have to start the basketball again. So let me do that now. Remember, my thoughts remain hidden, including whatever my feelings are for you. I mean, whatever I feel, I mean, whatever I think about you. I that is you. Why must you be so impossibly infuriating? You know very well what I am really talking about. I am referring to the bond between us, the one the Jedi Council spoke of. Our connection allows us glimpses into each other's mind. We can feel some of what the other feels, and what I feel within you troubles me. A Padawan must receive considerable training. They must learn to control their emotions and darker impulses. Often it takes years before using the Force can be considered safe. The fact that you are so strong in the Force and have had such relatively little training could have terrible consequences. For you, and for everyone around you. This is not a joke. The choices you make could affect both our destinies. Not to mention the fate of the Republic and the entire galaxy. There is much at stake. Already you exhibit the kind of willfulness, erratic behavior, and lack of compassion that will lead you to corruption. We must all resist the influence of the dark side. It's everything we are fighting against. This is doubly important for you, with your natural affinity for the Force. I'm sorry if I come across as harsh, but I am concerned for you, for our mission, and for myself as well. Our destinies are intertwined. Everything one of us does will have consequences for the other. Any reckless behavior on your part is likely to affect me as well. It is not true. I am worried about myself, but also about you. I would rather see neither of us come to any harm. Your power could be a gift or a curse. When you need guidance or advice or support, I will do my best to help you stay on the path of the light. I only hope I have. After talking for four hours, uh, we have to go to the Zerka office. I keep uh, wrong turn again. Wow, wrong turn again. Okay, uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, uh, wrong turn again. Okay, here it is. Right here it is. So, yeah, let's go in here. And then this, uh, Thoros will be here, um, complaining about murdering the sand people, but I don't like sand people, so I'm gonna murder them, and this is just a dark side walkthrough. Stop shouting, fool. Alright, so then we're gonna have to talk with this lady, but I think I'm gonna speed this up. Because she's pretty annoying. Yeah, I'll speed it up now. Can I help you? These are the offices of the Circuit Corporation. I trust you have business with the company. If this is about employment, I'm afraid all regular mining Uh, you have to ask about the hunting license. That's the first thing you're gonna do, so... I'm gonna ask about the hunting license. As I said, we are no longer selling them. There are too many people cavorting about outside the walls as it is. Why would I want one anyway? Let's see what to say next. We use them to ensure that only people judged fit by Circuit Corporation are allowed outside the city. We don't allow casual exploration because of legal concerns. Circuit Corporation takes no responsibility for loss of life on the dunes. It's just so we can keep track of And the the then... Uh, there's no way to get a license. And then... Show out for you to go kill, like, sand people, and then for every gaffy stick she'll give you money. 
So I just accept, and uh, it's only we're gonna get over there to look for the Star Forge. Very good. Zerker Corporation looks forward to your future. So I'm gonna call it a video, guys. Uh, next time we are going to uh, head off to the Dune Sea, and I only need four more subscribers, and I'll start another walkthrough after once I hit 20, which is only four more. So please, um, I want to start this new walkthrough soon. So, I only need four more, and I'll start another walkthrough. So, I'll see you guys.